point was that uh, Rachel Carson was promoted on Google Doodle because she made a book that influenced the environmental movement, and it was about banning DDT, which resulted in millions and millions, <laughs> hundreds of millions of lives. They admit about three million people die a year from DDT, but they say it's it's a price worth it, and it really didn't hurt the birds as bad as they said. Uh, it was a magical pesticide uh, that helped humans not die of malaria. You're absolutely right. Right. And uh, third point, NewsRescue.com promotes some of your stuff. I read some very interesting information that people don't promote. They want guns in their area, uh, in um, Nigeria, to protect themselves from the government and from these military groups because both of them are coinciding with each other. Some of them are People want guns radical. in Mexico to protect themselves. People want it in Africa. God bless your great points. Yeah, the only states that have any law and order in Mexico are where the Mexican farmers and ranchers, people close to the earth, it doesn't matter if it's leftist in Siapas or right-wing Mormon Christians in the northern Mexico, they get illegal guns in, in Texas and other places that are single shot and semi-auto. They lower the crime. They stop the cartels. And the Mexican government's having to back off now and saying, okay, let them be armed. So the, the only time you have nightmare extermination is when the state and the criminals have guns. When the people have the guns, the state and the criminals behave themselves. Because when the government fears the people, there is liberty. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. Thomas Jefferson. Let's talk to Mike in Louisiana. You're on the air. Thank you, Alex. While I was waiting yes, online, uh, the five bottle of X2 was delivered to me, and it's sitting in front of me. I can't wait to open it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support, uh, sir. We couldn't do it without you. Yes, sir. Uh, this is Mike from New Orleans uh, that, that has the cart on the street. Uh, I want to thank you again for promoting that. It was a nice little boost. I still don't have the screens, but I still soon will. And we'll be able to live stream your uh, show out to uh, the French Quarter every day. I want to say this. This uh, is how the CIA would overthrow what they call dictatorships until they changed their policy in the 50s and started putting dictatorships in, or in the 60s mainly. They would have people go around with handouts, bicycles, and then sandwich boards with messages, and enough of them it would overthrow the regime. What you're doing with your bicycle with these big boards in New Orleans, if other people just did it an hour a week, and put up handouts and just spread the word and call in to talk radio and call in to C-SPAN, enough of a buzz, we would overthrow the globalists very quickly. Can I read you something <laughs> I, I blogged yesterday in answer to what can we do? And uh, this is what I blogged. They only are granted the power we give them. And we could start taking it away in a million ways right now to let them know for our voices, our purses, and our passion. Peaceful civil disobedience is now our duty. If you've never emailed your rage, start now. If you've never called, call. If you've never written, write. If you've never spoken out, now is the time to yell. If for some reason you can't make yourself visible but still want to help and contribute to those that are putting themselves on the front lines in any way you can. If they want a revolution, that by God will give them one, but one in our terms. One that will be a revolution where the power of love will overcome the of power. Start now. Make a pledge. Say this is it. Call it the Howard Buell Pledge. Tell them you're mad as hell and you're not going to take it anymore. Well, very well said. God bless you, sir. Appreciate the call. Uh, I have told the crew, the great Darren McBreen, the great Rob Dew and others, I want a promo made, but I should come back and tape it and you know rant with a call to action. I have clips of Howard Beale saying, I'm mad as hell, I'm not going to take it anymore, and call it the Howard Beale Pledge to get aggressive, to not back down and promote the ideas of liberty. And that's what it takes, because our country was so wealthy, so free, it took so long to dismantle it, but now they're getting down to the final nuts and bolts. Great points. Matt in Tennessee, listening on WBCR 1470. You're on the air. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, guys. Yes, uh, Alex, I uh, appreciate you letting me on. You sound racist because you don't like Tim and Square. Um, this uh, bird dog guy, uh, I think this could come back to uh, get us. I, I don't know if I'm thinking way outside the box here, but... His parents, uh, his dad, uh, uh, seems to have a lot of knowledge with those people over there. Maybe they let him go, and they let them five prisoners go. That maybe they're going to try to do a uh, false flag here in the next couple of years to keep Obama in. Uh, he can set out martial law, and then no election, and then he can stay in. What do you think about that? I know we have pieces of the puzzle. 
and any way you slice it, this is staged. Nobody would do what Obama did. It's a PR disaster unless there's something larger. And I think it was just like Red Adair would blow up oil wells that were on fire with a bigger explosion. I think they did this in an emergency because they could track the VA thing was going to boil over uh, as a way to give a fake defeat of Obama and to change the subject. Uh, that could be part of it. You have the CIA section chief blown, so it was probably coming out that Burgle was a fake defector. I'm speculating here. But you add to this, I'm just throwing the pieces out, that he really did defect. He did walk off base. That was known. Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs called me Saturday. And McAdoo called me, Leanne, and they were already on that before it was on CNN a day and a half later. Uh, so this was well known. This does not add up at any level. And then you see shows like Homeland and others with a narrative that fit this burgle thing exactly. They're, they want the background of the idea that troops are Al-Qaeda. Troops are Al-Qaeda. Troops are Al-Qaeda to flip Homeland Security on their number one enemy, the veterans. So this, this is a major sophisticated PSYOP. I haven't ferreted it out exactly. We just know it's a PSYOP. Stay there, caller. I want to finish up with you. This hour of GCN programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing your health and protecting your privacy and data. BlockItPocket.com. Use your phone safely and minimize radiation. Find out how at BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. The best free fuel stoves on the market for disasters and survival are Silverfire. Its clean cook stove technology allows you to pasteurize emergency drinking water, cook a meal, or sanitize your cookware with just twigs. A U.S. veteran-owned company, Silverfire's mission is emergency and recreation cooking products. Made of quality stainless steel, Silverfire's wide line of indoor and outdoor models range from solo backpack models to large family units. Cook cleanly and for free. Get yours today at silverfire.us. That's silverfire.us. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com on me Don't want no shackles Don't want no shackles on me I sit down with Big Brother Don't like those RFIDs Got the blues about my freedom Got the blues 
rules about tyranny. Look, it's simple. If you don't value your freedom and you think your freedom is having checkpoints on the highway, you're going to be a slave. And they've changed the laws, the regulations to take your bank accounts, to track everything you do. We're going into tyranny. Tyranny kills prosperity. And we're seeing our prosperity go out the window right now. Matt in Tennessee, any other points you want to make about the Bo Bergdahl story that is just disintegrating? Uh, and we were reporting on it Sunday that it was disintegrating. People were like, oh, come on, not a conspiracy theory. And all the controlled fascist press that poses as left wing was attacking us on Monday. Uh, they're not laughing now, are they? Uh, no, they're definitely not laughing. And what's this secret meeting with the Senate today behind closed doors meeting? Uh, going on about this whole prisoner exchange and all that. There's something secretive about this, uh, Alex. And uh, I just want to say I really appreciate you being on up here in Alcoa. And also now that you're on down in Knoxville, Tennessee on 94.3 uh, and uh, get to listen to you every evening uh, as well as every day up here. I really appreciate all that you do, Alex. Thank you so much. Well, I appreciate you. You guys are right there in the same area of Tennessee where you had the uh, overthrow of the corrupt government there, the Battle of Athens. We should do a special report on the Battle of Athens and really remember how that's another model that if they keep starting physical attacks with us, uh, that we have a right and a duty to uh, get physical. I don't want that to happen, but it is our right and our duty. And that's why they're trying to demonize the Declaration of Independence right now. Uh, let's go to Kevin in Canada. Kevin, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. Alex? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm up here in Alberta, Canada. I'm um, just amazed at what's going on. I don't know where to start here. Uh, I'd actually just like to ask you if uh, if there's anything you could do with David Icke and um, Jesse Ventura, get them both on the same page, or try and get a roundtable discussion with them to get them, I don't know, to cooperate or something a little more. I know, I know that uh, Jesse doesn't like to go into that stuff, but... Uh, I believe well, I mean, listen, uh, I, I can barely run my own life. I, I like David Icke and I'm friends with him. I like Jesse Ventura and I'm friends with him. I, I, I admire and think both men are very interesting. I know them both personally over many years. Um, you're talking about the, one of the TV shows. I was in like 12 episodes of three seasons and was a consultant on conspiracy theory. Ventura quit the show because he didn't like the direction it was going. I was pretty much offered the show. I turned it down. Uh, great people involved in it, it's just the network was <clears throat> turning it into chubacabras and space aliens and we didn't want to go that route. Now I do a show on History Channel and Discovery Channel, uh, Book of Secrets and one other. I, I don't even watch those shows. I know with the Ventura show, they kind of edited what I said down to make it look like I was attacking Ike. I'm not mad at him. I don't want to get in the middle of it. I've tried to get the two together, uh, but Ike totally misunderstood what was happening. With, with reality TV, they didn't want them to meet beforehand. It took him an hour to get stuff ready. He thought they were putting him off on purpose. And the two guys are both real, and they're both, you know, former, you know, athletes. And Ventura was a champion swimmer and other stuff. And they just, you know, two, two alpha males got in a, in a literal argument, you know, on air and off air. And I just, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, and that's what happened. And I just feel bad about the whole thing. But that's already like two years ago and water under the bridge. I mean, what, did they just re-air that or something on True TV? Because I, I, why do you bring it up? Oh, I, no, I, I've just uh, got a memory like an elephant. I think you three are basically the most powerful people in the uh, truth movement with the widest audiences. And I think you guys need to get together. Uh, well, I'll say uh, this. I'll say this. I think Ike's on next week and I want to get Ventura back on. So we'll just... You know, you know what? I could reach out to him and say, let's all do a friendly interview. But, but I don't want to plan that yet. So don't go after that yet, Network. I want, I want to wait on that. Next hour coming up, I'll do five Thank more minutes to introduce to David uh, Knight. And then uh, I will punch out and he'll take over. Uh, we're going to talk to John, Chad, Jason, Will, and others. Stay with us. First Amendment Day. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If 
men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives, a serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with Super Male Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your Super Male Vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139.